John McCain holds his own against Barack Obama. Many of the so-called structural indicators that we look at here at Gallup are very positive towards the Democrats in next November's election. For example, party identification, we now have a double-digit lead for Democrats over Republicans, i.e. a lot more Americans are associated with the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party has a much more favorable image than does the Republican Party. And when we ask people generically, and other pollsters ask people generically, would you want a Democrat or Republican in the White House next November, the Democrat wins. Let's look at the numbers among registered voters. That is, if all registered voters went to vote, Obama has a lead, but it's very slight. It's within the margin of error, just four points. And when we calculate likely voters, which is our attempt at this point to isolate people most likely to vote, look at the numbers there. It's a statistical tie. In fact, McCain is one point ahead. In other words, at this point, it is not a runaway for Obama over McCain. If those are the two candidates, looks like it would be very, very close. Same type of thing when we pit Hillary Clinton against John McCain. McCain does a little better among registered voters against Clinton than against Obama, and the same thing for likely voters, but the basic story is the same. It would be a close race between either Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton and the presumptive Republican nominee, John McCain. A lot can change, needless to say, between now and next November, but right now, we're saying here at Gallup, it looks like it could be a very close race. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Poll.